Colin in Monday, it's my dad's birthday, he's 60th of the day, so he's been on holiday for a week in Venice with my mum in Florence, so really excited to see him. So we're having a big garden party, um, it's chuckling down obviously, we live in England, um, and every time we have a barbecue or a party in my brother's garden, Sean, uh, it always rains and always chucks it down, so we've just spent the last sort of half an hour to an hour putting up gazebos and getting everything sorted, I'm just going to pick up the cake now, so we've got a local cake maker who's made a fantastic cake. <laughs> So just a little bit about my dad. I mean, people who know me know I rave about him anyway. He's my dad, he's my hero. All through my life, he's he's been a constant source of strength and inspiration. You know, he helped me start my photography business. He's picked me up when I've been at my absolute lowest and, and you know, at the edge of despair and brought me back. He, he is my hero. Um, you know, people talk about my dad sometimes and, and ask what he's like and, and, and the kind of guy he is. And, you know, I'm always so proud to tell, tell people what he's like. Um, you know, he started, you know, he started as an electrician in the shipyard, serving his time. And he's, he's done so well for himself. And he's, uh, you know, you talk about someone going out and seizing the moment and seizing whatever they wanted to do in his career. You know, he's 60 now, but he's achieved so much in his career and he's he's very highly sought of from the people he works with. And it's one of those things, you know, we never tell our parents or tell our dad or tell our mom just how proud we are of them and, and you know, how much we love them. Um, so it's going to be real nice to go and, and, and spend his birthday with him today with just the family. Um, hopefully the weather will pick up and it'll get a bit sunnier for the barbecue coming. <laughs> Hi guys, so you've just seen some footage from an absolutely incredible shoot we had with Harriet over at Kirkley Hall. So first of all, massive thanks to the guys at Kirkley Hall. Uh, I shoot quite a lot of weddings there and they're awesome. Uh, so massive thanks to Laura who was there with us on the day uh, and waiting for sorting that out for us too. So you might just see behind us there, I'm not supposed to show any of the photos yet, but you might just see I'm editing a couple of these very quickly um, to send on over to the magazine that we're going to have them featured in. We can't really release them properly on social media yet because we get wrong and then they won't publish them and all that sort of jazz. So absolutely tremendous shoots. Really pleased with the results. Big thanks to Nathan who came along on the day. You can see him modeling in that bottom corner there. So he was helping me out from a lighting point of view and a photography point of view. And Steph O'Neill, Rachel White, my usual hairstylist and makeup artist. Always tremendous. Um, and Natalia Marie who was there styling too. Um, absolutely tremendous shoot. So really pleased with the results. Absolutely awesome. And the two lads fell asleep in the car on the way back, Nathan and, and Ben. Um, bless them. It was like waking kids up when we got back. <laughs> Wednesday after yesterday's awesome shoot I just feel absolutely rotten today and had to spend the full day in bed which I'm good at about had to cancel a shoot a newborn shoot for one of my lovely couples and put that back to later in the week absolutely terrible today so just trying to bring myself back around for the kids coming out to football and coming away from the childminder <laughs>
Sunday lunchtime. So it's Sunday night, just starting to put the vlog together for the week, pick out little bits. You might have noticed there's a couple of days missing Thursday. I pretty much the same state on Thursday that I was on Wednesday and I couldn't really do anything. Um, feeling quite poorly and still still feeling a bit rough today. And then Saturday, I pretty much spent the day with the kids, took them out in the morning. Oliver had a football tournament, I took him to that first. Then went and picked Noah up. Now Noah usually naps for about an hour, an hour and a half in an afternoon. So I put him down for his afternoon nap. I thought, well, hey, I might as well close my eyes too. And then it was like three and a half hours later we woke up, which was then his bedtime. So that was fun trying to keep a three-year-old entertained to sort of nine, half past nine on a night time on a Saturday night by myself and Laura I was at work. So today I went out, took the boys for lunch, as I said, a lovely carvery. Uh, again, Laura's at work today. Then Oliver had his presentation, didn't you? Sunshine, see this little monkey here, he yeah. still hasn't done his hair. Um, so he had his football presentation, got himself a trophy and a nice photo taken. Because it's the end of his football season now, which starts again in a couple of weeks. So all in all, great week. It's absolutely roasting outside now. And I hate the summer. I might sound stupid for a photographer to say, but I absolutely hate the summer. It's too hot. I get this bad boy burnt. I sweat like a, a no know what. I can't wait for it to snow again. So hope you guys have had a great week. Hope you've enjoyed watching the vlog this week. Got loads more coming up next week. I've got a few photo shoots with a couple of agency models. We've got a studio full of the Northeast top wedding photographers on Tuesday coming for a coffee and schmooze day. So if you've liked what you see, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't. And hopefully I'll see you again next week.